What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Our Stream is Cheaters. Today we're actually going to be discussing Shifty TV, but something which he was actually required to download and use to prove his innocence, which was, face it, anti-cheat. This is an anti-cheat that can be downloaded and used across multiple different games and what it appears to do is close down any cheats that you have active before you enter the game. So we're going to be discussing this in detail in today's video and actually discussing how this can be implemented into future tournaments but why it hasn't been implemented in the past. So if you do enjoy the video guys be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you're new subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at BadBoyBeeman. Right, let's crack on with the video. A lot of you guys will have heard of Face It Anti-Cheat recently. The reason behind that is because Shifty TV was asked to actually download this anti-cheat and then go into a game to prove that he is at the level he claimed to be prior to using this anti-cheat. However, it did not bode well for Shifty TV when he found himself averaging around a 2KD after previously averaging between a 5 and 6KD across multiple games. This guy was clearly using cheats and the fact that he downloaded this stopped any cheats from running on his system, meaning he had to play legit. And there was a clip that surfaced on Twitter showing Shifty TV missing a lot of shots and actually finding himself dying in a situation where he had the upper hand and his aim didn't appear to be that of the aim god he claimed to be. Let's take a look at that clip now. Actually, well, fuck it, we're fine. Fuck it, I'm the best in the world, baby. That shit. Claiming that to be shit. the best in the world as he goes out and oh, misses shots, missing shots. <laughs> what? And something I'd like to point out as well, let's take a look at how much ammunition he had in that gun. 72 bullets. 72 bullets. This is a guy who was not missing a single shot. So the time to kill for him before this situation was very quick. Probably took around 15 bullets or so to actually kill his enemies whilst he was toggling aimbot on. But in this clip right here, whilst he's got face at anti-cheat running, you can see how natural his aim is and how dog shit it is as well. So because of Shifty TV downloading face it client anti-cheat and using this to try and prove his innocence, but in turn actually showing what kind of player he naturally is compared to what he's been showcasing himself to be whilst using aimbot, we decided to do some digging into the face it client anti-cheat and what it can actually be used for. Now, although on the site itself, it claims to be for CSGO, this actually works for cutting off all cheats from what we've seen. If you go onto the likes of Battlelog and other cheat providers, it will actually state in their forums as well as when you go to download their cheats to make sure that any anti-cheats with face it actually named and mentioned on there, make sure they are turned off so that you can use their cheats. Which means the face it anti-cheat actually shuts down all of these cheat providers, well, the ones we've seen so far anyway. Let's take a look at the Battlelog site now. Now this image we've been sent here is actually from somebody who had an account with battlelog.co and it shows how to set up the cheats. But there's a section in here that actually shows that you need to have any anti-cheats including face it closed before trying to inject your cheats. It's actually step number eight which says delete not just disable or shut down but delete face it ESEA, Riot, Vanguard or any other anti-cheat you might have on your PC. Now of course this is actually to help the cheater being able to cheat, which means that Battlelog.co already knew about these anti-cheats, right? So why on earth haven't tournament organisations who actually put together Warzone tourneys for $100,000 made it compulsory for the people entering the tournament to have Face it, ESEA, Riot Vanguard, or any other anti-cheat running to make sure that they are playing legit in the tournament. Why don't CMG actually ask you to do this when you are playing wager games? How many tournament organizations are out there that have never asked their participants to actually run an anti-cheat to make sure they're not cheating? Now keep in mind that these anti-cheats work across multiple games as well. They're not just dedicated to one specific game. 
So if Battle Log is saying that you need to delete Face It, that clearly shows that Face It will cause problems for anybody trying to use their cheat service, which is now great news for tournament organizations moving forward. How many of these tawny orgs are gonna start implementing the use of Face It or other anti cheats alike for the people who enter into their tournaments? And if they don't, that is going to raise a lot of questions. But the biggest question I have at the moment is why on earth has this not been incorporated since the very beginning? There has been millions of dollars won by streamers across the last two years in Call of Duty Warzone, which is a casual player game. It's not a competitive game in any way, shape or form, yet millions of dollars has crossed bank accounts into a lot of these streamers bank accounts at least anyway, and none of them have had to run the likes of Face It, ESEA or Riot Vanguard to prove that they are playing legit. This could have put a massive stop to a lot of the accusations across the last two years. This could have actually shut me up. This could have proved a lot of these top level streamers are in fact godlike whilst having an anti-cheat running, whilst playing in a tournament. So there is lots of questions surrounding why the use of faces hasn't been used across the last two years, and will it be used moving forward? Because if it's not used, or any anti-cheat alike not used moving forward with any tournament in Warzone, you've got to ask yourself why. Is the corruption that high up? Are people actually going to sit there and believe these players are legit when they're not using an anti-cheat like Faceit before entering into tournaments? But now we have the key to the future of these guys proving they are legit whilst playing in tournaments. And take it one step further, as we've already mentioned, these streamers could run face it on their computer before going into the game. Every single stream, whilst proving throughout their stream that they still have face it running. Showing that they are playing with an anti-cheat running in the background. Yes, Call of Duty Warzone does have Ricochet anti-cheat. But it's an absolute pile of garbage. It does not work at the level that Face It seems to be doing. Because Face It made Shifty, who was a 5 or 6 KD player, turn into a 2 KD player who couldn't hit his shot and wasted a whole 72 mag trying to kill an enemy after being a laser beam prior to that. So Face It does appear to have its pros. But we're going to continue digging guys because I believe there might be more information out there surrounding certain anti-cheats like this. And I think that it could be the future of proving streamers to be legit. If they can continue to put out their 30, 40, 50 and 60 bomb gameplay across the board whilst playing with Face It running in the background, then that proves they are legit. But if their gameplay turns to dog shit after running Face It, then it shows something was running prior. It's a big opportunity here for streamers to prove their legitimacy and there's a big opportunity for us, the Bad Boy Beeman community, to actually start exposing streamers with the use of Face It. And I just want to make it extremely clear of how simple it is to download Face It to your computer. Literally type in faceit.com. It will bring you to this page and you click download 64-bit and that will run on Windows 10 and 11. Now once you've actually created your account with Faceit and gone through the verification steps, it brings you to this part where you need to sign into the AC, which is the anti-cheat for Faceit. And then it says this site is trying to open Faceit anti-cheat. Open. Because that's exactly what we're trying to do here, is open the anti-cheat to see where it takes us. Hi Bad Boy Beeman, member since 21st of March 2020, waiting for game to launch. So this is what happens, you then launch your game and it will let you know that you've gone through the game with the correct steps to make sure you have no cheats running. Okay, so what is stopping all these streamers from creating a Faceit account and running this anti-cheat whilst they are live? It is causing them no grief, it will take them an extra couple of seconds to set up on their stream at the start of every stream. Instead of showing Task Manager, which proves absolutely nothing, they could show that they are signed into the Faceit anti-cheat and that it is running throughout their stream. So whilst this theoretically could be the answer to a lot of problems across Warzone, with Ricochet anti-cheat not working as best it can, it's still only theoretical. There still will be ways to bypass this, there still will be ways for cheat developers to start working on this, and that's the unfortunate thing. If this becomes the new face of anti-cheat for Call of Duty Warzone, the stream is to prove they're legit, then that means that a lot of cheat developers are probably going to start working around the clock to bypass it. 
if they haven't already. But as you can see here, it actually shows they've banned over 120,000 cheaters. That is nowhere near as many who have been banned through Ricochet or Activision doing ban waves. So is this really going to be the answer? At the moment, I think it could really be the answer, but we will be doing some digging into Face It and other anti-cheats alike, as well as taking a look into developing an anti-cheat, how about that? Something that I actually spoke about in the past, something that I got part way through actually developing with a couple of people, with a team, and it sort of got put on hold. But the Triple B anti-cheat, which was only part way through development, actually did what Face It is said to do. And this is something that was tried and tested by myself. So I know what the Triple B anti-cheat did, and I believe the face it runs in the exact same way. So I will be looking to see whether or not there are any cheat developers out there that can bypass face it. And if so, why? Because what you tend to find is when it comes to cheats and anti-cheats, you will find one developer working both sides of the field. So you will have a cheat developer who has probably decided to create an anti-cheat because who better than somebody who understands the cheats? But you've got to make sure that the person who has developed the anti-cheat isn't somebody who's developed the cheat that is still able to bypass the anti-cheat because that would be Monopoly at its finest. Every other cheat provider out there completely nil and void if face it's running, except the cheat that they've created, theoretically. So guys, we will be digging deep into the anti-cheat side of things because third-party anti-cheats may actually be the solution but at least tournaments in Warzone, and maybe for streamers to prove they are legit. And just to run an example of something that we actually got to, this is the stage that we were actually able to get the Triple B Anti-Cheat to, which is very basic, and anybody who codes or creates programs in any way, any sort of program development, you will know this is basic, but it got the job done, and that is the main thing. So let's get the prompt password put in. With full screen. Now, of course, you can see it's extremely basic. It's like press any key to continue. So we'll press enter. Okay. Now you can actually see the processes that are actually being locked into to see whether or not there is any sort of external third party EXE files put in and anything that could actually be run with cheats injected into them is completely terminated runtime broker terminated runtime broker terminated and so on right and if you actually look down there's so many things that actually get shut down so for example calculator people actually embed their cheats into the calculator and many other things so one of the biggest problems actually moving forward in developments with this was trying to figure out how to keep it updated because let's face it if you can inject your cheat into another program so that it actually shows up in task manager and processes and anything like that as say calculator or windows movie player or anything like that then how are you going to be able to shut all of that down and then you have to ask the questions of what programs do you need to have running for streaming or for playing the game and can those cheats be embedded into it and these are all part of the process that we actually got to but guys we actually looked into the development of this over a year ago and it was unfortunate that it got put on hold for such a long period of time but now with face it doing what this is explaining to do well, it looks like possibly we could pick up development again and see where it goes. We can see the things that are actually being shut down here. It even closes down Battle.net, Modern Warfare, Agent.exe, Notepad, Discord, Calculator, GameBear, FT Server, Rewazd, and there's so much more implemented into it. So for any programs that are running, such as DS4 Windows or anything like that, it will close them down. It will reopen them once it's finished okay the system cannot find the path specified run the game do not close the window so this had to be run after the game was injected because what it would do it would force close the game as well because anybody who knows about cheats will understand that the cheats have to be injected before you open the game every single time so if you had your cheats injected open the game then you run the triple b anti-cheat it shuts the game down along with any other programs that could potentially have cheats running in them and it reopens the game and then with it opening the game you will not have cheats injected at that point because it will have closed down any programs but every time you open a game you have to inject your cheats prior so this is something that was put into development very early stages of development might i add and it is something that i'm more than happy to look into developing again 
there's actually me and another person tied to this so if anybody is interested in getting involved in this it's not going to just be me you are involved with moving forward but hey let me know hit me up in the emails hit me up in the dms on twitter and we can talk about it but this is just something that hey it might be a load of shit but it's something that I was working towards, and this was long before Ricochet Anti-Cheat was even a thing. So if we can actually get this completely fully developed to the point where it is perfect for tournaments and for streamers to prove they're legit, then that would be perfect, wouldn't you say? Well, there we have it, guys. There are so many things that could be used to actually make tournaments legit again. Face it, it's just one option. But let's talk about the development of the Triple B Anti-Cheat, something that was started a long time before Ricochet Anti-Cheat was even a thought in Activision's mind. If we can get the development of the Triple B Anti-Cheat fully developed to a point where it's ready to go out, this could actually help people who are trying to live stream and being accused of cheating prove that they are in fact legit. And it could also help tournament organisations cut out all of the cheaters who are trying to enter into their tournaments to win money under false pretense. So something like this being incorporated into the competitive scene of Warzone is definitely a must. So anyone who wants to actually get involved in the development of the Triple B Anti-Cheat, hit me up on Twitter. Or even if you are a programmer or coder and you have thoughts about the Triple B Anti-Cheat, Hit me up and let me know your thoughts on that. You can reach me on Twitter at BadBoyBeeman or you can hit me up on email which is linked in the about section on this channel. But guys, honestly, moving forward, I do think this is potentially a way for streamers to prove they're legit every single stream and for tournament organisers to actually stop any cheating in their tournaments. This is definitely something that could show the true colours of a lot of streamers but you'll probably find many of them will not want to run a programme on their PC. That can stop their cheat. They will make up an excuse of how it's intrusive into their personal data on their computer or something along those lines when in fact all they need to do is run this program and prove they're legit. It's that simple. If we find out any more on the subject of face it, anti-cheat and whether or not it actually does work fully across the board, well we'll keep you posted about all that here on the channel because we're going to be moving forward looking into the development of the Triple B anti-cheat and hopefully at some point in the future we will have a fully working developed anti-cheat that will work not just for Warzone but across all games. Even if it's as simple as just shutting down their programs prior to tournaments and streams and doesn't actually ban them, well, that's what stops the cheaters, stopping the cheats from being injected in the first place. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up. Let's try and get this video to a thousand likes and share it out as much as you can because anybody who's out there who can help with the development of the anti-cheat, it would be massive to have them on board. Let me know your thoughts about the anti-cheat in the comments below, guys. If you're new, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel further, you can hit that blue join button today and become a member of the Triple B fam. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at BadBoyBeeman. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace!